good morning right today is sheep pedicure day uh, i'm gonna bring all the girls in and have a look at their feet because i think there's a couple that have got a little bit of a, a long hoof um and i'm gonna give them a quick tidy up if they need it um so let's go and grab a bucket <laughs> Start with some bribery. <coughs> That's Jaja. I know she's metallic, she's shiny. Right, girlies. Come on, in there, please. Hi. Next. Hello. Hello. Right, stubborn ladies. It's time to get in here, come on. So that's my temporary pen set up. Thank goodness for baler twine. Where would farmers be without it? Now his hooves are normally absolutely fine because they never seem to grow that much. I just need the slightest edge off them. Look at his little feet. What do you want, Henry? Oh, those horns! <laughs> Look at his missing teeth. There we go, new ties all round. There you go. Oh, it's old. Yeah. He looks so little compared to this thing. Oh, it would be a nice sofa. I'll tell you something, he's got a proper grump on. Oh, I'm not surprised. How very dare you. Oh, you touched my feet without consent. Yeah. Let's put them down. Come here. <laughs> okay. All right, Stroppy. Check your teeth, we have a view on them. So, two big teeth in the middle. So she's a shearling. So she was a lamb last year. Do you? Doesn't need much off her hooves at all. Let's turn them leveled up a little bit. And this one. So this is more of a balancing exercise than a retread. Yeah. Just get their tracking right. Yeah. What it is, is I want to get their hooves done before they're too heavily pregnant. So all of these guys have been with the ram now. So I'm hoping that they are pregnant, but we don't know yet. We don't know. Um, but it's more uncomfortable for a ewe to be turned over when she's heavily pregnant. So there's a short safe period in between them being just pregnant and before they give birth. So this is the, the right time to do it. So we're only slightly pregnant in, in that case. <laughs> they're only slightly pregnant, yes. <laughs> well, I don't think there's such thing as being slightly pregnant, do you? You're either, you're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. But <laughs> I could tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, that's what we're aiming for. Nice even toes. So, just have, <laughs> she's ticklish. <laughs> just having a quick feel of her condition. So she's, condition score about a three. So she's perfect. So going to the run, they should be around a two and a half to a three and a half. Not too fat, not too thin. Um, should we do you next? You next, get it? Oh dear. <laughs> Don't give up your day job, will you? <laughs> Come on. Only slightly. Only slightly. There we go. There we go. So check her teeth. So she has got four, uh, dribble face, four main teeth in the front. So she's about three years old. So she had a crop of lambs last year. And 
She says she would have been born 2019. Yes, 2019. There we go. So you can see her little udder there. There's no lumps or bumps in there. It's all shrunken down now that she's not in milk. There we go. And the back ones. Oh, these have got a little bit long. You see that? So if that was left much longer, this flap of horn covers the foot and then bacteria and muck can get in the gap, making them lame. So uh, that can come off as so. So what would they do in the wild then, if they can't go to a chiropodist? Well, in the wild, they'd be on a lot harder ground, probably on the hills, and um, they'd be moving a lot more during the day. So they'll probably travel several kilometers a day grazing, um, looking for grass. So their hooves would naturally wear down. And I guess if these hooves were left long enough, um, they would actually, the, any overgrowth would actually break off. Um, so they would naturally shorten themselves, pretty much like wild horses do. Um, they'll get a, a jagged piece on the edge of their hoof and it will literally just snap off if they stand on a rough stone. So... So the equivalent of breaking your nail then? Yes, yeah. But there's no, there's no actual feeling in here. The hooves are made of, um, of a keratin substance that your hair's made out of. So this is the heel, so it's like a little, little soft cushion. I don't know if you can see that. It's all well, quite... my eyesight, the camera might be able to <laughs> see. But this is, this is quite soft in here. And the outer wall is extremely hard and durable. So um, we don't want to remove too much of that because that's what the sheep walks on. But this cushions her as she walks. And we've got to make sure that there's no damage to that. That's a nice little hoof. Okay, I think you've been on your bottom for long enough. So that's number three done. There we go. And she's in perfect nick as well. Yeah. So the sheep are getting a little bit of food every morning now. Um, they're probably getting a, a cupped handful each. And that's just to make sure that they're getting enough protein and all the vitamins and minerals they need to carry their lambs through to giving birth in spring. Okay, next one. I think we're going to do the back breaker next. She's not impressed. Henry. Henry Hippo. She's the sofa of the bunch. She's in um, ample condition, should we say? Fat. A little bit. <laughs> you can still feel her spine. Chunky. But she's always been a good doer. Oh, she's so nice. Massage? Right, okay, turning her over is going to be fun because she. Um, Loves to cooperate, should we say? So, cut the jaw. That's not what you said last time. <laughs> Grab the leg. <laughs> and ah, we made it. So a quick check of her teeth. Hi. Oh, those chompers. Beautiful. Well, they're, they're very well used, aren't they? <laughs> okay. So much bigger feet here. Pardon you! Oh. So what what uh, what flavour of sheep is this one? Sheep flavour. Mm. Yeah, right. She says, don't talk to me. Don't listen. Don't listen. Um, this one's a Charolais. Henry is our Charolais sheep. So, um, and Good she's job, very we, welcome here. Good job. We love you. Yeah. We love her, even though this is the one that actually shuts her eyes, gets a run up, 
and will just whack you in the knees with the forehead. And tries to break your leg. And breaks your legs, yes. Such a lady, aren't you, Henry? Well, the name Henry <laughs> is because they thought she was a boy, because she was such a chunky that they thought she was a big muscular oh, ram. Sense. Yeah, I know. So this is a breed typical of the region. There's a lot of Charolais around. Oh, I know. Oh, my goodness me. It's... Sounds like a horse. Oh. <laughs> she does. There we go. It's nice to see they're not sweaty between their toes either. It's nice and dry in there and clean. There we go, grumpy face. You can get off now. Henry, stand <laughs> on your own feet. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's it's a hard life, isn't it? Come on. It's tough at the top, isn't it? Come on. Oh. <laughs> so she's a Charolais, and T Rock, the first one you did is a. T Rock, the little ram, is a Wesson. He's just a little pet sheep. Um, he's getting on in his years now. Um, he broke his horn last year because he had a bit of an argument with his his son. And lost uh, that look at it. <laughs> but yeah, he's just a pet. He just kicks about here. Um, we kept him with the intention of being a companion for our other ram, who's over there, Mr. Ramery who is currently evading capture and trying to camouflage his big white backside in the yeah, nettles. Yeah, good luck with that one, mate. <laughs> so the, these other two, they're, they're not Charolais? These aren't Charolais, these are just crossbred white sheep. Yeah, we're talking about you as well. <laughs> this one climbs in a bucket, don't you, Peanut? She will jump and take the food off you. No manners. And this one... Jaja! She's our new favourite because she's very friendly. Hello, Jaja. Jaja Binks. And. Jaja, I've got big ears, yeah. And she is a Lacan milk sheep. Um, she's a what? Lacan. Lacan? I don't know how to pronounce it actually because I've only ever seen it written down. And as you'll see here, she's quite an old girl. In fact, I think she needs a set of dentures. Mm. She has no teeth. Well, I'll give you a nasty suck. Yeah. yeah. So, um. They have no teeth on the top anyway. Sheep have this hard palate that they bite up against and rip the grass up like that. Okay. But um, they are meant to have a few more teeth than that. <laughs> but she's beautiful anyway. And as you see, her, her, her hair is like metallic. It's like pearlescent. Like a great rug. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? I can see a sheepskin <laughs> jacket in my future. Yeah. So and I'll call it Jar Jar. <laughs> So her hooves actually grow at an astonishing rate. Wow. All the sheep's hooves were done at the same time a few months ago when they arrived. And yet Jar Jar's carried on growing really fast. So I am expecting quite a bit of overgrowth there. Well, they're not as bad as they, they looked. But when I catch this before she goes lame. There we go. She's got these weird pockets at the side where the the hoof wall is separated a little bit. Okay, we'll just finish these feet. I'm gonna get a close up on these. There we go. Still in focus. Perfect. <laughs> so she's broken a little bit of her hoof wall off, but there's no damage done underneath. It's fine. Good girl. So there's no quick in these like there is in a, a dog nail or anything like that? Yep, exactly the same. If I was to take that chunk off there, that would cause her a lot of pain. She there would is swear. This underneath, this soft sole is um, is a quick, just like just like a dog's thing. Yeah, right, okay. A dog's nail. Yeah. You can tell I'm not a farmer, can't you? No, you're asking. It's all very valid questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Very true. Well, you do come close at times. Really? Yes. <laughs> so I'm just making sure that I've got rid of all that loose and excess horn on the outside. There we go. And now these back ones. Just get rid of the mud from inside. They're almost transparent in the so sunlight. How much growth is on these again? Hey, sorry. How much growth is on these again? 
not much really, is it? They're not too overgrown at all. No, I thought they were a lot worse when she was walking, so I was very eager to get them in today to check. Here we go. She's got a bit of a strange foot on this side. Um, Doctor strange foot, huh? Doctor strange foot. She's okay. Okay, remove this flat from the outside, so she's walking on the on the flat surface again. Again. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Good girl. And then she's got two tiny little holes in her in her toe just there. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to give her hoof a quick spray with some antiseptic spray just to make sure that that bacteria in those holes doesn't track up and make it any worse. So it'll be like having toothache, will it? It'll make her very lame, which is not fair on her, so I can't really trim much further. I don't want to damage the corium, which is the where the hoof, uh, the hoof grows from, so I'll give that a quick squirt. <laughs> gorgeous. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> He's like, please put me down. I don't want to cuddle. Yeah, don't blame you. <laughs> Let's have a look at your tiny feet. There we go. And these are Wessons. These are Wesson, oh, she's a Wesson cross, and these are her baby teeth. So this is this year's baby. Crossed with what, fang? <laughs> she's actually from Grandma. She's Grandma's last lamb. Okay. Before she was retired. Uh, there we go. And the back tyres. There we go. I can hear Henry's belly rumbling. No, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop. Good girl. Thank you. So these little lammies obviously aren't as used to being handled as the own the adults. So they do tend to get their point across by kicking. <laughs> there we go. Okay, she has got the most gorgeous fleece, but it's not cream on the outs on the inside. Close to her skin, it's this lovely colour. Coffee and cream. That coffee and cream. Yep. It's darker on her legs. Speaking there of which, go. there's a cappuccino in my future. Oh yes. Okay, and um, let's just check that she's got a clean bottom. Yeah, just wipe it all over <laughs> me. Why don't you? <laughs> Woo! All clean. But no, these, these primitives do really, really well on very short grass with very little food. They're extremely hardy. But if you have lush grass like we currently do, they tend to pig out on it and it goes through them and they get a really grubby bottom. Lovely. So it's not very nice. Um, we're going to give her bum a quick trim as well, just to make sure that no, it doesn't attract flies. Because even though it's the weather has gone cooler now, there is still an ever-present risk of fly strike, which is when flies lay their eggs on the the sheep's uh, fleece that's covered in muck. And when these eggs hatch, they turn into maggots, and the maggots can actually start damaging the sheep's skin and make them very sore. Okay. And that's them all done, so they've all had a new set of tyres all around. <laughs> and um, we're going to have them back in in a couple of weeks for their next worming session. Which they're going to be looking forward to, I can guarantee. You Bye can, girls! They're very excited, <laughs> you can tell. Oh, very excited. Bye girls! <coughs> Hello Ren. <coughs> and who asked you for your opinion? Expert sheepdog at your service. Hello Poods. Expert sheepdog. Hmm. Yeah. Yes.